In this video I just want to show how one can start using functions to break the main method up into smaller parts where each part becomes a function. So let's just quickly scan to see what this method does. It first reads a number from the user and then it's a sentinel controlled loop so the loop continues until the user types a minus one. What we will be doing in this problem is to find the maximum and therefore maximum is initialized to minus 999 and in the end we will also be finding an average and for that we need sum and count to be initialized to zero. Inside the loop what it does is if the number is an even number that number is added to sum and we count that number so clearly what this problem is doing it's getting the sum of all the even numbers and counting them to later on calculate the average of the even numbers. The else part says obviously if it's not even then it's odd so what this problem is doing it's finding the maximum odd number. So the total result of this program would be to find the average of all the even numbers that are entered and to find this biggest odd number that was entered. An important purpose of a function would be to um, reuse code. So when you look at this program, the two lines that asks for a number and reads the number in is done twice in this program. So that is a clear indication that we could replace this with a function. So as I said, the, the two lines, write line, enter number and read line are done twice in the program. So what we now do is we create a function called get number. This function asks a number from the user and then returns that, that number. Notice it's an int function that returns an integer. So that function that we've created is now below the main method in our, in our program. And notice we've replaced those two lines now by calling the function. So at the top before the while loop we say number is assigned to get number. And then at the bottom of the while loop, we say number is assigned to get number again. The next piece of code that we want to replace by a function call is that condition of the if statement. Now the trained eye can see that this checks whether the number is an even number, but it still takes a while just to understand what it, what it means. So by using a function, we're going to make this easier. So we cre create a bool function. What is a bool function? It's a function that returns either a true or a false. We call this function is even. It takes in a number and then it checks whether that number remained at 2 is 0. If it's 0, it returns a true. Otherwise, it will return a false. So it returns a true when this number that comes in is even and it returns a false when that number that comes in is odd. So what we've now done is we've made our condition simply says is even number. So the reader of the program immediately sees, oh, it calls a function that checks whether the number is even. And we've added that function at the bottom below get number. So it's all below the main method. The next piece of code that I want to replace with a function call is the if statement that checks whether the max should change. So it says if number is greater than max, then max becomes number. So for this one, I create a function called getMax that takes in two numbers and returns the biggest of the two. So it says if A is greater than B, it will return A, else it will return B. So now instead of the if statement inside the while loop, what I simply do is I call the function getMax and I don't send through an A and a B, I send max and number. So the biggest of the two will, will return and max will become that number. So if number is greater than max, then max will change, otherwise max will stay the same. And the method get max is given at the bottom. Okay, so this is our final product. Notice what we've done. We've created three new methods, get number, is even and get max. And we call them inside the main method at those four highlighted places. And the result of this is that the main function now becomes easier to read than what it was at the start. Because by calling the functions, we don't even, we don't just use functions, but the function names make it easier for us to understand what's going on in the code.